Hello everyone, this is Ash and this is Corpse Party, Sweet Sachiko's Hysteric Birthday Bash. Quite a long name, but uh, it's in the Corpse Party storyline, let's check it out. Just came out today, so probably not too much on it yet. Oh yeah, voice acting. Soon. Soon. Well, you sound sinister. And I got a little heart icon too spinning over here. Alright. Five more seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. This is Heavenly Host Elementary. A hill that exists beyond the concept of place, where the dead roam free and eternally torment the living. And our story begins when the one who rules over this hell, Sachiko, the girl in the red dress, suddenly lost consciousness and fell to the floor. Wait, is this a sequel? The child spirits who were bound by the curse of this school all gathered around her quizzically. And the oldest among them, Yuki, reached out for her hand to touch Sachiko's soldier shoulder, almost as if in worry. Only for only for Sachiko's Wow, I cannot read. Only for Sachiko to spring her own arm up and grab hold of Yuki's enroaching hand in a single motion, glaring at her prey with bloodshot eyes. <laughs> huh. Perhaps glaring is too gentle a word from betwixt her black strands of hair Eyes like daggers shot at Yuki, boring through her already hollowed cranium. However, Yuki-chan, ohayo. Yuki, good morning. <laughs> he, he. In the next instant, the expression on Sachiko's face changed to a smile. Not unlike that of an ordinary child. It was an infectious smile, too. Yuki, Ryu, and Tokiko alike all lit up the candles from its glow. Like candles. So, Chico, I'm gonna butcher these names a bit, just letting you know. Then turn for a moment to face the cal calendar. Oh, you have this thing threw me off on the wall. And as if one, as if on coup, coup, wow. The old date listed thereupon tore away and drifted to the floor. As it fluttered with a faint crinkling sound, the newly reborn calendar now proudly displayed its new moniker. July 19th. <laughs> he, he, he. Finally, it's here. At long last. My birthday. Wow. What was the last one? Uh, who are you? Yoshi. Thanks. Sachiko. 
You tried. Hugsies, mommy. <laughs> okay. All that was said in that sentence? Huh. Heh. <laughs> what a good girl you are. Today, while we can, let's make sure to have a fun time together. All day long. You bet. What's it called again, mommy? When you let the people you've captured off the hook? Am amnesty, perhaps. Yeah, that's it. Today I'm gonna give everybody lots of amnesty. Gather everybody who's not dead yet in the gym for me, okay? <laughs> Are you gonna kill them? <laughs> this is too calm. Haha, <laughs> I certainly hope this proves to be a memorable birthday for her. They're all gonna die. When I came to, I found myself in a very spacious, but dimly lit building. The ceiling above me had to have been at least 30 feet or more above the ground, with rows of lights evenly spaced along its entire area. And the floor below me was clearly varnished, shining with a glassy finish. I lifted my head a bit and surveyed the area in front of me, and the first thing I saw was a stage flanked on both sides by drawn red curtains. The game's a bit too loud for me, one second. Okay. And right in the middle of it was a podium, like the kind you typically see principals standing behind as they introduce themselves into a new class. So I'm in an auditorium. The rain was coming down in sheets outside, and the steady pitter-patter of it on the roof filled this en entire massive space with a sub deceptive calmness. On either side of the room, a plastic basketball hoop stretched its way upward to the ceiling, eagerly reaching like its players might. This space served as a gymnasium and, and auditorium both. Like so many others did in the school buildings from throughout the mid 20th century. Yeah, I'm still here. This can only be Heavenly Host Elementary. Damn it. Guess I wasn't able to stop the such. Wait, the? Oh, okay. The Sachiko Ever After Ritual. Oh. So this is. Okay. I couldn't remember anything clearly. But I had the distinct sensation that this was not my first time experiencing the events of this particular day. Somehow, I could just fill it. And I knew that just a short hours ago, in our plain old familiar classroom 2 9, my friends all performed the ritual that sealed us here in this memorable, horrible place. It was called Sachiko Ever After. And try as I might, I couldn't stop them. I knew 
too. I knew this is what was going to happen. But something was different this time around. Wait, an auditorium? I don't think I've ever been in this room before. There were a lot of other people around as well. Students from a variety of different schools. Most wearing uniforms I didn't recognize. For all the world, it looked and felt just like a morning, Monday morning assembly. And I clearly wasn't the only one confused by what was happening. Everybody was looking around in a daze, as if they'd all just woken up. I was... Yeah, I remember being transported here to Heavenly Host Elementary, and I remember leaving classroom IA 1A with Yuka. But then there is this chime, and a big earthquake, and all of a sudden, I was here. Hold on. Where's everybody else? Where's the rest of 2 9? Looking closely, I can see a handful of students wearing the uniform of Bakudin Senior High School, which wasn't far from ours. I haven't recognized a uniform or two from Palawana uh, Academy High School. I think we had mixers with them in the past. But where was Kisar to Kisaragi? Had the others not been brought here this time? Was I the only one? Naomi. Satoshi, are you okay? Makita. I probably said that wrong. Naomi! From deep within the throng of unfamiliar faces, Naomi and Shinohara came barreling toward me. The sight of friends and Mrs. Chaos energized me, as if lifting a cloud from my heart. Forgetting for a moment that Naomi was a girl, I rushed to meet her and hugged her with all my might. Why does that matter? That's weird. You have no idea. No idea how worried I was. Tears were streaming down her cheeks. Most likely she'd been subjected to unspeakable Speakable horrors in the school until just a few minutes ago. Just as Yuki and I had. Are you alright? You're not injured or anything, are you? No. Uh oh. How about you, Shinohara? Are you okay? I'm fine. But more importantly, Naomi. You'd better not let go. Huh? What? What's going on? Oh, no. Naomi quickly pushed herself away. Shinohara was staring at her with an impish grin on her face. But she too had tears welling in her eyes. <laughs> Big brother! Makita, 
Ma Machida? I don't know. Yuka, Shinozaki, Suzumoto, and Miss Yoi were all together and seemed to have noticed us all at once. They came running over to join the reunion. Yuka, Yui -sensei. Yuka, Miss Yui. Big brother, are you okay? <laughs> this is weird. This is like a different take on everything. You guys. Yoshiki, Shinozaki, Suzumoto, Morishige mo. Am I dead? Yoshiki. Shinozaki, Suzumoto, and Morshiga, too. I'm, I'm so glad you're all safe. <laughs> what are you crying for, Satoshi? That look does not suit you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha, your face is really kind of a disaster right now, man. Like, you guys look any better. Man, I was so worried about all of you. Machida. We'd been told that even though the nine of us were all here in the same school, we exist in separate, closed spaces, and may never meet again. Yet here we are. Not in separate dimensions, closed off from one another, but gathered together in the same space. Even the same room. We were still trapped in Heavenly Host Elementary, but my dearest wish to be able to see my friends once more had actually come to pass. So yeah, I was crying. I couldn't stop the tears from gushing out of my eyes, even if I wanted to. We all slung our arms around one another's shoulders and enjoyed this first real moment of happiness any of us has experienced since the ordeal began. One moment. My phone keeps beeping like crazy <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that but uh let me address it real quick and I was running out of space on my hard drive so multiple things happening Sayaka other voices indicating similar Teary reunions could be heard here and there throughout the auditorium. So yeah, I think uh, my phone's just not situated right on the wireless charger. And it just keeps ticking on and off. But I'm not going to go across the room and grab it. So it's going to have to do what it does. It seemed everyone here was in a similar situation to our own. And it was kind of strange. I recognize some of them as if I'd met them in some n another life. Yet, all the others in attendance were complete strangers. <sighs> so, what's actually happening? Someone must have intentionally gathered us all together here while we we're unconscious it's the only way a situation like this would come about that's true I'm glad we we're able to reunite like this but we clearly still have an escaped heavenly host so we shouldn't give her hopes up yet we had to keep ourselves on alert, okay? Why had we been assembled here? 
What is going to happen to us? I had a bad feeling about this, and I clearly wasn't the only one. A collective shudder ran through the room. Alright, um, I think we'll pick this up a little bit later. I need to figure out what's going on with my phone. So, uh, I feel like this game's about to get interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.